am I doing? Hey there, I'm starting another vlog. This is just C. It is Monday, and in our house, that's G night. Um, sorry, it's the lighting. It's either like I'm whoo, on the spotlight interrogation, or um, I don't have the best light in the house. So, anyway, it was G night, which means I cleaned up all the garbage, hauled it to the curb so they could pick it up tomorrow took care of the kitties and now I'm finally going to sit down and relax. It has, you can't tell because I still am a little sweat in here, um, but hey, I thought my makeup didn't drip and I felt the sweat go right down the side. Anyway, um, <laughs> I opened up the windows. It's a little cooler. I can tell it's going to be a nice cool breeze tonight. The humidity is still there, but it's not as hot. So I wanted to turn the air off and get some fresh air in here. So open the window. Uh, at least four of the fur herd jumped right up like they'd never smelled fresh air before in their life. So that's exciting. Um, there's Ozzy. Why is Ozzy here? Yeah, I'm going to eat my supper. I'll show you that in a minute. So, um, oh, and look, Lily's coming closer too. They can smell it. Those animals, they're just like my little garbage guts, but okay. Oh, exciting thing came in the mail, well, in the UPS today. Here, let me show you. Look at that. That is a giant Stampin' Up! box and a little one. I'm just covering up my address. So um, the exciting news is that this came, so I get to go through it. The not so exciting news is there's really hard, I don't think maybe two things in there for me. Everything else is for friends that wanted to do an order, so I always combine and save them shipping. So, um, so that's what I'm going to do tonight is sort through that. The other bad news is I forgot my list of who bought what, so I'm going to look at all the pretties, but I'm not going to be able to bag them up for everyone yet. So I'll show you once I open and sort what's in there. So here's what I'm having for supper. These are some leftovers that E made last night. It's just some, um, what is it, angel hair? I'll have to double check. And some thin um, beef that we'd already bought pre-cut and he made it with, I don't even know what he made, some type of gravy, but it's good. So those are my leftovers. And then I got some cheesy garlic toast and this is my thrifty tip. See? these pieces they're pretty big they're your you know normal brand name size guess where i got them hmm do you know i got them at dollar tree they have um if you've never checked out their food section ozzy food um anyway they have frozen and they sometimes have some off brands i don't know the brand of this but it was a dollar for six pieces of that toast for garlic toast already seasoned um and pardon my pardon my hand um that's way cheap compared to what i pay in the store you can sometimes get the store brands a little cheaper but um some of those name brands, it's a piece of bread with some garlic and butter on it. And we never buy it like the the cheese layered type because you usually get one piece less of bread and it costs more when all I do is I toast it up in the toaster oven and once it's done, I sprinkle a little shredded cheese on it and I just let it sit in there and it'll melt. I have learned to just let it sit and the heat left over will let it melt. If you turn it back on to cook, I, I usually burn it, so... Anyway, that's my supper tonight. I got a nice tall glass of iced tea and I have some um, zucchini chips. I'm trying a new recipe with some of my um, farmer's market. Sorry, gapped where did I get that? Farmer's market finds. I just um, cut some last night and roasted it in the toaster oven because I do not like to heat up the oven. Again, it makes the house hot. I don't like being hot. See that? That's sweat. There. I just uh, dabbed it off. See, I'm still hot. Um, anyway, so um, uh, where was I going? Oh, so we use the toaster oven just about all the time whenever we need to bake something. So um, tonight I made them really thin. I could have taken out our mandolin and made them consistently thin, but it wasn't worth the time for me to cut up one zucchini and get it dirty, and it's, you know, not convenient because we don't use it a lot, and I've put it back. So I just sliced them really thin. I pressed out some of the water, most I could, and then I put them 
in a Ziploc bag with just a little bit of olive oil. And actually, it's the same Ziploc bag I used last night when I made my roast um, roast chunks. So there was still seasoning stuck to the sides. I didn't even really add any more seasoning because I didn't want to overdo it. So I have them set on low for about two hours, and I did overcrowd it. They said don't you know let them don't let them touch, and they'll shrink a little bit. But um, I didn't have enough for two full batches, so I just I made it work. And after an hour, I'll go move them around and switch them over. So if it turns out good, I'll um, I'll show you, and then I can make them because I have one zucchini left, and I can make them and show you too. So I'm gonna eat supper now. I got through all the Stampin' Up stuff. Um, oh, such wonderful stuff. We got paper, designer paper card stock, um, a bunch of empty cases for storage. Those are great. Got a bunch of framelit dies, some piercing sets, a card kit. Look at all these stamps. Oops, sorry for the shadow. Um, some duplicates because my friends have good taste. And the good thing is, you know, I might be able to borrow those if I really need to. Some people got punches, we got some washi tape, some adhesive. This was mine. Let's talk about the boring stuff. I got some adhesive. Um, a complete card kit. This is going to be really cool. I heard it's actually back ordered, so I'm glad I got one. That one's mine too. And a big die in a hamburger box. Anybody have any ideas for me to use that for? Um, I'm not sure. So, oh, fun, fun, fun. And now Lily's playing with the bubble wrap. And I have an empty cat trap. The little box. I wonder how long till someone jumps in it. See if I can encourage them. Lily. Oh, no. Okay, that was my Stampin' Up! stuff. Uh, my zucchini chips are still cooking. They're looking good. I might just go to bed. So, later! Okay, I had to open this up and I wanted to show any of you that might be um, crafty card people. Okay, I caught a cat. Lily got the box. Rico, I think, wants it. Okay. Oh, yep, yeah, they're going to have a little fight to see who gets the box. That was a very successful cat trap. Anyway, I just want to show this quick. If you are a card maker at all, or if you're not a card maker, and want to do some, and not don't have a clue what to do, Stampin' Up! We have some awesome kits. This is a new one this year, and it's back ordered. I'm sorry, but I got it. It's called Watercolor Wishes, and you get all the stuff to make these cards right here. you The only thing you need of your own is some um, a scissor and some adhesive. You can use double sided tape, you can use um, I don't think this is going to focus, there we go. Double sided tape, um, tape runners, a glue stick, whatever you want and you get everything to make these cards. So I just wanted to show you because I think they're awesome and I do these all the time because I don't have a lot of time anymore to dedicate to being creative, so I will get these kits and I might tweak them a little bit, but this gives you step-by-step -step instructions. You get the um, cardstock. These are the, the different sizes of the cards, all fold in half, plus you get the envelopes. And this is the cool part. Well, there's lots of cool parts, but um, you get a block, a clear block, and a set of stamps in these kits. So this is the, um, it's a word set that comes with it. And you can use this stuff again and again. Plus you get little ink pads that color coordinate to go. And some embellishments. Let's see, this one's got some sequins. Also some wooden embellishments to be used on the cards. And then some, um pop-up 3D mounting adhesive to have things pop up a little bit. This kit has a little bit of washi tape and then um, a couple sheets of these are more than likely, yeah, it looks like they're actually already ad adhesived. They're stickers and um, these are what you'll use to make the cards. And I'm using another kit right now I'm working on. If I think of it in another vlog, I'll show you guys what I end up with. But there is like lots of leftover stuff. So 
Anyway, that's my only little plug in my vlog for Stampin' Up. In case you didn't know, I am a demonstrator. Um, I'm just a hobbyist, so I don't do parties or anything, but I can place orders and um, help you out if you have questions. So I just wanted to show that was my exciting thing for me, other than the adhesive in this giant haul. So fun, and now I am going to bed. Lily? Lily? Can we go to bed? She doesn't care. She'd be happier if I tipped the box over so she could hide. But anyway, until tomorrow. Good night.